and wholeheartedly welcome all the students of the standard across the state. It is my pleasure to let you know, read, and enjoy the poem Eighth Standard Unit 5 poem Firework Night, written by Emmett Blyton. Before we read and enjoy the poem, I am going to take you down the memory lane. Do you remember, my dear kids, in your primary classes years ago, you enjoyed the Tamil rhyme? I am going to sing that song because our prescribed poem is very much related to the Tamil rhyme. Listen to me and enjoy the Tamil rhyme. To to nai kuti tulli vava nai kuti to to nai kuti tulli vava nai kuti unnai thani nai kuti vodi vava nai kuti. கழுத்தில் மணியை கட்டுவே கரியும் சோறும் போடுவே கழுத்தில் மணியை கட்டுவே கரியும் சோறும் போடுவே கழுத்தில் மதியை கட்டுவே கரியும் சோறும் போடுவே இரவில் இங்க தங்கிடு எங்கள் வீட்டை காத்திடு இரவில் இங்க தங்கிடு எங்கள் வீட்டை காத்திடு My dear students, this is the song Nai Kuti written by Adav Aliyapa. Hope you enjoyed the Tamil rhyme. You know very well, dogs are the symbol of gratitude and they show great love and affection for human beings. The song and the described kind of poem for us Remind us the same thing. How a dog is scared by the noise pollution that will be dealt later in the video lesson. A sharp note on the author. He is the author of the poem Firework Night from Mary Brighton. Enid Mary Brighton. The full name is Enid Mary Brighton. She was an English children's writer. She was born on the 11th of August in 1897 in London. She was a novelist, poet, short story writer, and teacher. Her pen name is Mary Pollock. Her notable works are The Famous Five, The Secret Seven, Naughty, etc. Before we discuss the points of the poem, before we read and enjoy this great poem, my dear students, let us learn the new words employed by the poet in the poem. There are quite a few words which you have to be mindful while you are reading the poem. The first term is BAN, sudden, loud, short noise. BAN, this is the sound of the cracker. Doom, doom, we say. BAN in English. How, the next term, hawk. One of the oldest terms. It means listen. Next term, yelp. It means a sharp cry of pain or alarm. The dog is yelping in the poem. We will see that later. Couch. Couch means high bed or sofa. What we use in our house. Next term is crouch. Couch and crouch, obviously, rhyming words. Crouch means to bend legs and body so they are close to the ground. You are making a position so that your body is close to the ground. That is crouching. Kennel, the next term is kennel, a small shelter for a dog. We are living in a house, we know that very well, but the house of a dog is called a kennel. Fright. Next term, fright, a sudden intense feeling of fear. Another term, the final term is 
trembling means to shake slightly due to fear. My dear students, we have come to the full text of the poem now. It is titled Firework Night. You know the name of the author, Anit Mary Clayton, poetess. Listen to me carefully, listen to the pronunciation, stress. Attention. Bang! What is that? Bang, bang, boom, hawk. The guns are shooting in the dark. Little guns and big ones too. Bang, bang, bang. How shall I do? Mistress, master, hear me yell. I am out of doors. I want your help. Let me in. Oh, let me in. Before those fireworks begin to shoot again, I can't bear them. My tail is down, my ears are flat. I am trembling here outside the door. Oh, don't you love me anymore? I think I will die with fright unless you let me in tonight. Shall we let them in, children? Oh, now the door is opened wide. I am rushing through. I am safe inside. Lights are on. It is warm and grand. Mistress, let me lick your hand before we slip behind the couch. There, I will hide myself on the couch in safety till the bands are done. Then, to my kennel, I will run and guard you safely all the night because. You understood my fright. This is the reading of the poem, my dear children. This is written by Edith Clayton. Before we understand the meaning of this poem, we should know the background of this poem. It is a simple poem written by the British writer. What is the background of this poem? Because there is firework in the poem. The dog is scared, you know. The poem is full of fireworks. During this panic situation, what does the dog do? It is the poem. What is the reason for the firework? Here it is. Firework night, it is also known as bonfire night or guy fox night. Firework night is also known as bonfire night or guy fox night. On this day, the 5th of November. Bonfires and fireworks are lit in memory of gunpowder plot. There is an incident in the history, my dear children. Gunpowder plot. The person related to that incident is Gary Fox. So, bonfires and fireworks are lit in memory of the gunpowder plot. In the poem, the dog is scared by the sound and light of the firework and then he requires his master and mistress to protect him from the bank of fireworks. You know very well what is the meaning of master and mistress, the house owners, the heads of the family. The dog is requesting them to let him in because he is, he is very much scared by the fireworks. This is the background of the poem. Dear students, here is the meaning of the text what we read so far. I have given first few lines of the poem, starting from bang to hell. Let me read the text first and explain it. Bang, what is that? Bang, bang, ho oh, hawk. The guns are shooting in the dark, little guns and big ones too. Bang, bang, bang. What shall I do? Mistress, master, hear me ill. I am out of doors. I want your help. Already we discussed bang means the sound of bursting crackers. What is that? Before you understand the meaning of the tales, we should keep that in mind. The whole poem 
is the voice of a dog. Throughout the poem, a dog is complaining, dog is confessing his problems, confessing his fear caused by the fireworks. You should understand the speaker of the poem is that dog. The dog is speaking throughout the poem. What is that? The dog is asking, what is that? What should be the sound? Bang, bang, ho oh, hawk. The guns are shooting in the dog. The dog hears the sound of guns shooting in the darkness. Little guns and big ones too. There are little guns as well as big guns too. Bang, bang, bang. Continuous sound. Why? The author has repeated these words. Bang, bang, bang. Because full of sounds. What shall I do? The dog is helpless, that's why it is asking a question. What shall I do? Mistress, master, hear me help, and out of doors I want your help. Here we understand the situation very much. The dog is out. It is out of doors. It is not inside the house, it is out of the house. Literally, the dog is stranded in the street. There are so much of fireworks. So the dog is requesting the inmates of the house to let them in and to be safe. The dog is out and frightened by the bang sound of the shooting guns and obviously seeks the help of his master. Here is the next set of lines. Let me in, oh, let me in. Before those fireworks begin to shoot again, I can't bear that. My tail is down, my ears are flat. I'm trembling here outside the door. Oh, don't you love me anymore? I think I will die in fright unless you let me in tonight. Dear children, see the meaning. The dog requires the inmates to let him in, and its tail is down. In fear. He trembles outside and says that he would die if they don't let them in. See the first line, let me in, oh let me in. The author has repeated the sentence, let me in, let me in. Because dog is frightened. The sounds are so fearful that the dog is requesting them again and again, let me in, let me in. Before those fireworks begin, before those fireworks begin. There are so many sets of fireworks with the little passes. So before another spell of fireworks, the dog is requesting them to let them in. To shoot again, I can't bear that. My tail is down. When a dog's tail is down, you should understand here, when a dog wags its tail, when a dog Let's sit down. When a dog is happy, when a dog is undergoing a present situation, its tail is up. And at the same time, when a dog's tail is down, you should remember there is a danger for the dog. So the dog's tail is down, his ears are flat. They're going all the sounds of fireworks, the ears are flat. I am trembling here outside the door. Trembling. Trembling means we understood. In the list of new terms already we discussed, it is shaking fear. Out of the doors, the dog is trembling out of fear. Oh, don't you love me anymore? There is a doubt for the dog. It is Asking the inmates of the house, don't you love me anymore? If you have love, definitely you will let me in. It is asking the owners of the house. I think I will die with fright. Here, fright means fear. Out of fear, it is going to die. Unless you let me in tonight. If you don't let me in tonight inside the house, I will die. So here, it, it makes a condition here. Here is the next set of lines. Let me explain you, my dear little children. 
Shall we let them in, children? There is a suggestion. There is a suggestion from the parents to the children. They are asking the suggestion of the, suggestion of the children. Shall we let them in, children? Oh, now the door is opened wide and rushing through and safe inside. The lights are on. It's warm and grand. In these four lines, we come to understand the dog is lit inside the house. Finally, it has reached the place of safety. The master and the mistress asked the suggestion of the children and opened the door to let the dog in. In no time, the dog rushes in and takes shelter inside the house. It feels warm when the lights are on. The door is finally open for the dog. It rushes in. Now the dog is safe inside the house. The lights are on. Here the lights are the lights of the house. It's warm and grand. So far, the dog was in the place of danger. Now it is safe and it feels the grandness of the house. Here are the lines, my dear children. The final set of lines. Let me explain you. Listen to the text first. Mistress, let me lick your hand before I slip behind the couch. There I will hide myself and crouch in safety till the bands are done. Then to my kennel I will run and guard you safely all the night because you understood my fright. See the meaning? The dog feels grateful to the mistress and wants to show it by licking the hand. He slips behind the sofa. He will hide there and crouch in safety till the bands are done. After that, he will run to his kennel and got her safely because his mistress understood his fright. In this slide, let me explain you more, my dear little children. Here we have to understand the animal behavior, the habits of a dog. See the first slide. Mistress, let me lick your hand. Many a times we have come across the situation. There are some animal habits, especially in dog's habits. When you go for a morning walk, you take your pet dog, it follows you wherever you go. It hops around you, it hops along with you during the morning walk. On another occasion, when you return home after some time, quite after some time, it the way it greets you is something pleasant. It makes a sudden jump. It makes a lick. It is literally licking all over your all over your face. And you too makes a nuzzle around its muzzle. These are all some incidents which reduces these sets of incidents reduce our mental stress. Sometimes when we experience all these events, all these characteristics of a dog, it reduces your stress level, it reduces your cholesterol, it reduces your blood pressure and it makes you fit. Some people go for a walk only when they breed a dog. When they go for a walk, the dog is the companion. So automatically you become fit. It makes you run sometimes. You have to chase the dog. You have to keep it quiet. And at the time of feeding, when you take your own food, sometimes it stops your hand requesting his own share. If you are a lover of the dog, Definitely you will understand whatever he says so far. My dear students, do you know there is an information for you? Blue Cross of India. It is an animal welfare charity based in Chennai, India. This welfare organization protects the animals in danger. It was established in 1959 by Captain B. Sundar. Its motto is animals. It is their goal too. It's a piece of information for you. 
there is an organization called the Blue Cross of India. This organization takes care of the animals in general, dogs, cats, hamsters. When these animals face a danger or risk, these organizations, or these sorts of organizations come forward and they rescue the animals from danger. This is for your knowledge. See the motto of this organization. Maybe a little children. Animals, it's their world too. We human beings generally feel this world is made for us, only for human beings. But we should understand this rich earth is also for the nature, animals, birds, all the beings around us. That is the meaning of the motto. Animals, it is their world too. So we should save the animals from extinction. We should not harm the animals. Now we are moving into the next part of the video lesson that is literary devices employed in the poem. The first thing is personification. I already said it, the whole poem is the voice of a dog. The dog is speaking through the poem, he complains, he confesses his fear to his masters. The poet in Blyton uses the literary device personification throughout the poem. Personification is a figure of speech which attributes a personal nature or human characteristics to something non-human. In this poem, human attribution is given to a dog. The complaint of a dog which was scared by the fireworks during firework night. Next to literary device is repetition. What is a repetition? It is a figure of speech used in the poem where a phrase or sentence is repeated to emphasize an idea. For example, see the line taken from the poem, let me in, oh, let me in. Why the poet has repeated the sentence, let me in. In this line, the sentence, let me in, is repeated to stress the intensity of fear. The dog feels. The dog is so scared that it literally beats the inmates of the house. Let me in, let me in. Next literary device you see here is generally we see rhyming words in poems such as the one we have given, this five of life by any direction. What are the rhyming words employed in the poem? There is a term do which rhymes with do, hawk which rhymes with talk, help which rhymes with help, in which rhymes with begin, that flat, though anymore, fright, tonight, grand, and couch, crouch. My dear students, if you read the text carefully, you will find all these rhyming words. These are all the best of writing books we have in this poem. Dear children, hope you all listen to the video lesson so far very well. Here are some questions for you. Answer me. The first question is When were the fireworks burst? Do you understand the question? When were the fireworks burst? Good. The fireworks were burst on a bonfire night. Next question. What do you mean by the word ban? Good. The word ban means a sudden loud noise. Who opened that door? You did listen the text very well. You did listen to the explanation. The dog was requesting the inmates and finally it was let in. Who opened the door? That is the question. The mistress opened the door. Good. I have given you a line from the poem. Before those fireworks begin, pick out the words in alliteration from the line. Excellent. The words of alliteration are before and begin. 
the previous classes you learnt what is an alliteration there are two terms which begin with similar consonant sound that is uh, before begin next question for you my dear children write an example for personification great yes the flowers nodded their heads flowers here non human that is nodding their heads here human beings can nod their heads flowers too are nodding their heads that is the meaning next question identify the rhyme scheme there are four lines or oh, now the door is open wide i am rushing through i am safe inside the lights are on it's warm and grand mistress let me lick your hand these are all the lines we have to identify the rhyme scheme of this stanza good a a b b see the final terms of each line why inside grand hand the final ending words of first two lines rhyme with each other that is why inside that is why it is a a grand hand these two terms rhyme with each other that's why it is b b so the rhyme scheme is a a b b see the next question oh don't you love me anymore this is the line there are two questions from this line whom does the word me refer to you know very well the poem is the voice of a dog so here me refers to the dog the word me refers to the dog good who is the dog questioning the dog is questioning someone who is the person the dog is questioning the mistress good my dear little children so far you did listen to me very well hope you enjoyed this little piece of poem from this poem we understand how the noise pollution affects the animals and birds celebration is needed sometimes more than that safety is also needed celebrate the occasions with bursting of crackers but keep that in your mind don't harm animals let us remind you the motto of the organization blue cross of india animals it is their world too thank you all for patient listening vaskar the teacher of english